What does it mean to have a healthy digestive system? Seems like everyone is talking about gut health and how to get it. We see folks talking a lot about how to reset your gut and how it can make you feel better. The gut is one of your body's most complex systems and something we're only starting to really understand. The good news is that you don't need to know absolutely everything about how it works to be able to eat for great gut health. What we know for sure is that the food we put into our bodies has a huge impact not only on our gut's health but also on our physical health and our mental health as well. There are plenty of studies on digestive health that all point to evidence of how our gut function is related to our health and well-being. Today, we'll show you six of the easiest things you can do for yourself for great gut health and maintenance. These are simple ways you can take action today and be on the right path for taking control of your health. If this is your first time here and you're interested in alternative health and taking care of yourself and aging well as time moves us forward, then consider subscribing now so you won't miss anything. Time marches on for all of us and we want to live the best life we can. Research has shown us that the health of your gut and your digestive system directly influence the onset of certain autoimmune diseases and skin conditions as well as endocrine conditions and even some cancers. Believe it or not, your digestive tract is home to well over 500 different species of bacteria. Some good and some not so great. They feed on and multiply numbers based on the types of food you eat, and they are in serious communication with your brain telling you what they want and need. This colony of microorganisms inside of you is called your gut microbiome, and it's in all of us. This is why it's so important for you to enhance the good bacteria inside of you that is in turn beneficial to your system. Fortunately, it is possible for you to make certain diet and lifestyle choices to support the growth of good bacteria in your gut. The gut bacteria can become unbalanced for many reasons like continued stress, bad sleep habits, eating too many processed foods, and even using certain kinds of medication. When the microbiome is out of balance, it can affect the function of your immune system, your brain, and your cardio system. It can compromise your hormone levels. What's more, the body's ability to absorb healthy nutrients can be vastly diminished. How to tell if you have poor gut health. Stomach pain is one of the most common telltale signs of an unhealthy gut. If you often experience bloating or gas, there's a good chance that it has to do with a poor digestive system. Do you experience constipation or diarrhea frequently? That may mean that your microbiome is out of sync. Craving sugar more often than usual is a good sign of poor gut health. If you regularly eat lots of processed foods or ones that contain high levels of added sugar, this will cause the good bacteria in your gut to decrease. Unintentional weight gain or loss is another sign of an unhealthy digestive system. When your gut bacteria is out of balance, your body may not be able to absorb nutrients as effectively as it should. It's also harder for the body to regulate blood sugar and store fat as it usually does. Therefore, weight loss could be caused by additional bacteria multiplying in the small intestines. And on the other hand, weight gain can happen because of the body's urge to compensate for nutrients that it's not getting. If you're not sleeping well or find a negative change in your energy levels or even your mood, this may be connected to your gut's microbiome. It might be surprising to learn that most of the body's serotonin, the happy hormone, is produced in your digestive tract. Serotonin is the hormone that stabilizes your mood, feeling good, feeling happy. It impacts your entire body. Serotonin also helps with how you sleep and how you eat and digest food. Autoimmune reactions are a sign of poor gut health. Finding unexpected skin irritations is not uncommon when inflammation of the gut occurs because of a bacterial imbalance. Sometimes this happens when proteins move from the gut to the rest of the body. Then, six things you can do now to improve gut health. Number one, release stress. Tackle the sources of stress in your life. Life is too short to be stressed out all the time. This can truly have a positive effect on the health of your gut. Find your favorite way to do this. 
or a combination of methods to bring stress relief to your day-to-day -day life. Whether it's yoga, exercise, or meditation, or long walks in nature, get rid of the stress and deal with it in a healthy manner. Two, do what you really love. Increasing the amount of time you spend doing the things that you love is a great way to reduce stress. Find relaxing activities and hobbies. Maybe it's yoga or meditation or even pickleball. Number three, sleep well. Make sleep a priority. In today's busy Western world, this might seem difficult. We give ourselves deadlines and tasks to complete. But getting a good night of uninterrupted sleep is seriously important for your health. This is not just about your gut, but your brain and your health in general. If you aren't sleeping on a consistent basis for at least seven hours every night, your body isn't going to have enough time and energy to replenish itself. Sleep is critical for good health and long life. Please work on it if you're having issues. We completely understand that for some people this is a difficult issue. Don't give up. It's that important. What else can you do? Drink water all day. Staying hydrated has been shown to improve the health of the intestines. It also helps maintain a good balance of bacteria in the gut. Make this one easy for yourself by carrying a water bottle with you at all times and sipping from it often. Number six, probiotics. Adding prebiotics and probiotics to the diet can be beneficial for most people. Prebiotics encourage the growth of good gut bacteria and probiotics are living good bacteria. It can be tricky to find the best prebiotics and probiotics so always do your research and consult your healthcare provider if you're still unsure. But remember, you don't need to take synthesized probiotics created in a lab. There are great foods, namely vegetables, that are full of pre and probiotics that you need. We have a video that covers all of the very best vegetables you need for great gut health in the large and small intestines that you can watch after this. We'll put the link in the top corner. Remember, you are what you eat. The community in your gut eats everything you eat. Making positive changes in your diet is one of the best things you can do for gut health and longer life. This includes cutting back on or eliminating foods that are high in sugar and saturated fat. If you're not eating them already, try slowly introducing more plant-based foods to your daily diet and your gut will feel the benefits soon. Well, it's unlikely that you're going to feel the benefits of diet and lifestyle change overnight. If you continue to work on your gut health, then over time, your gut will thank you. Owning your biome and taking charge of your health by consciously choosing healthy options for your body is a powerful thing, and it can inspire you to make better choices in other areas of your life as well. If you're trying to be conscious of eating habits, it may be helpful to learn more about zombie eating. No, it's not something from a science fiction movie. It's a real term used for emotional eating or just eating and not paying attention to why you're eating and satisfying cravings and sort of like being on food autopilot. It's something many of us do all too often. You can check out the video we did about zombie eating here on the top right. We have other health and nutrition videos in our library, plus tips and ideas for getting the most out of your life and growing older gracefully. Make sure you subscribe and thank you for please sharing this video and what we're doing here with this channel with others. Until next time, be well.